Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Blue Maxima and I'm here checking out some PS4 games being played over PS Vita Remote Play. And today we're going to be taking a look at Far Cry 4. Now usually I would load directly into my games to make these videos as short as possible, but I wanted to show off these screens. These screens tend to come with every Ubisoft game, like no matter what you what game it is, these will, screens will usually pop up at the beginning of them. So these screens show off the default control sch scheme. So on L1 and R1 on the back there, using either one of these that you prefer, which is a fairly nice touch, you can choose which one you like, although I would prefer the vertical strips. You can change your weapon and change your and use a throwable. Then on the front screen here, you've got uh, melee mapped to the top right, sprint mapped to the bottom right, your map mapped to the middle, funnily enough. Uh, your shooting is your L and R. It's a very, very simple set of controls. I just wanted to show that screen off before I fully load it into the game, and I probably will put a jump cut here. But I just like that they take the opportunity to explain the controls to you before you go in. Unfortunately, it doesn't resolve in, like, giving you any sort of... What's the word I'm looking for? It doesn't give you, like, any prompts in-game, so that's always a little bit of a pain in the ass just to, tr to try and remember where everything is. But that's not that big of a deal. Of course, it would make Remote Play better, and we do like making Remote Play better. But they've gone to a lot of effort anyway, and I'll praise whatever they have done, and then chide them for what they didn't do, which is relatively minor in the sake of it. And considering they actually took the time to make a control scheme that was specific to the Vita, I really can't say that this is a bad control scheme at all. Maybe the game it might not be that well suited to it, but... I really can't argue against the idea that they at least tried. So, here we are in Far Cry 4. I think I'm near an... What the hell am I doing here? I should be near a goddamn outpost. I swear I saved near a goddamn outpost. Let's actually go to a to an outpost. Because I'm going to do an outpost master as our demonstration here. Alright, we'll just leave through the front door. And we'll come have a look at the Outpost Masters, just over here. So the idea of the Outpost Master is that we just have to go liberate this outpost from all the enemies, and hopefully we can do it without being seen. But then again, to, to demonstrate both gun and stealth combat, we will need to try and be quiet and try and be loud at the same time. So... So, you have to use the rear touch pad to... Oh! G God! Oh, no. That went perfectly. Alright. First of all, let's swap to something a little bit more, you know, quiet. So, this is my personal favourite handgun, the cannon. So, this control scheme actually works surprisingly well. We have... I'm just gonna go loud, because fuck it. This control scheme works really well. They did actually take the time to figure out what would work best for Far Cry 4 on the Vita screen. And while it would have been nice to like map, to the, map the bottom left corner of the touch screen to the weapon switching because that would be a lot more convenient than doing it on the back here. Or, e or even the gr grenade. A little bit of customization wouldn't go astray. Let's actually just pause and go and have a look at the control scheme. Of, you, can, you can actually turn off a lot of the interface which is quite nice. So, it does let you come here to change, to look at the control scheme here, which is, a, again, this is actually fairly nice. I wonder why they didn't actually let you, let you like, look at this at the beginning screen. You can invert the look and change the sensitivity of the looking and lefty shoulder. So, you can, you can change the L2 and R2 and L1 and R1, but why the fuck would you do that? No one wants to shoot on the goddamn... No one wants to shoot on the goddamn back of the screen, good lord. And you can also enable or disable the touchpad, but that really does nothing. On the PS4 controller, it lets you do something along the lines of swap weapons and all that. But on the on the Vita, you can't really swap weapons with the touchpad because it's basically just an on-off switch. You can't be like sensitive with it. But otherwise, this. This actually works pretty damn well. Fight, 
Come here, you. I, I really have nothing to say about it. It's just... Other than the... The, the rear touchpad mapping could use a little work. They made a scheme designed specifically for the Vita. And it is hard to argue with it. Purely because they actually put the effort in. And it works just fine to play with either way. And it looks surprisingly pretty on the Vita screen to boot. Even on the Slim Vita, which is what I'm playing on right now. Where's that last guy? I see him. The sticks are just a little too oversensitive. I'll have to get out and take care of this personally. Actually, you know what? Let's have a wrong button. Let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? We'll stick a grenade on his ass. <laughs> That's fun. So yeah, the control scheme for Far Cry 4 Remote Play works absolutely perfectly for... Well, not absolutely perfectly, but it works pretty damn well. And if you're looking to play Far Cry 4 over Remote Play on the Vita, the customized control scheme that they give you is a very good control scheme, and I could not argue against wanting to play it on Remote Play. It's just that simple, really. This has been Blue Maxima, and I'll see you all next time.